On a domestic heating job here, a boiler engineer has identified the leak on the heating and has isolated the boiler. It needs topping up every 12 hours, so to reduce damage, they haven't used their heating for about a week. So let's get it. I'll set the tracer gases up, ready for testing. Then drain any water or chocolate milk out of the heating system. There's seven radiators on the ground floor. Here's some of them. The pipework is believed to run in the floors, which is in screed. Boiler's in here. There's no obvious signs of a leak anywhere but that's probably due to the customers acting straight away when they realised they had a leak to minimise the damage. With the pipe work on test, I went around with a wand to see what I could find. There's nothing in these rooms. The wand started to purr a little bit on the right hand side of this tower rail, as you can hear in a second. We're getting closer, but I don't think we're on top of the leak yet. We're struggling a bit. There we go. So I went round to the other side of the wall to see if I can get gas traces. And there we go. So I removed the washing machine. You could hear the leak behind the plasterboard somewhere. There's some signs of damp on the skirting board. The two pipes you can see are hot and cold feeds and are not heating related. I hope the pipes aren't buried around here. What a nightmare that'll be. Speaking with the customer, to cause minimal damage, I tried accessing the leak through this boxing. Inspection in the boxing, found no obvious leaks. And I can hear it just the other side. So it looks like I'm cutting the plasterboard out behind the washing machine. So put that back. Let's so cut the plasterboard out. And I found the culprit. Not liking the look of these fittings. You can see the top one is leaking, but I'm going to change them both just to be safe. So when I disconnected the fitting, it doesn't look like the pipe was pushed in far enough. With the area repaired, I carried out a pressure test to check for any other leaks. I had to add these straights in to extend the pipe work to make sure the repair is sound and there's no stress on the pipe. The pressure didn't drop, confirming no more leaks, so the system was depressurised and could start filling the heating back up and getting the radiators warm again. We go round and bleed all the radiators. With the heating up to pressure, I can stop filling it and shut the water off and put the washing machine back. Then do a final check with the thermal camera. Jobs are good in. If you have a leak, let's get it.